Hey friends, Ashish here from Guiding Tech and here with me I have is the La Echo La One S Echo. Now a bit of a tongue twister in the name for sure but anyways today we would be running games on it along with temperature checks and then finally have a look at the benchmark scores. And by the way the La One S Echo runs on a MediaTek MT6795M Helio X10 octa-core processor which is clocked at 1.8 GHz which is slightly different processor from what we have seen on the La One S. Apart from that, you get a Power VR G6200 and a 3GB of RAM which is similar to the Lava Nest. So, let's get started with the initial temperature reading and then play some games on the device. The initial temperature readings at the back are around 33 to 34 degrees Celsius and at the front too, the readings are the same. Please note that this video is shot in a non-AC environment with an ambient temperature at around 31 to 32 degrees Celsius. Now we would be starting with the service server and on a full HD display, Helio X10 is doing a great job here. There are no lags and frame drops and the screen response is also quite good. One thing I am liking about the device is its sound output. The speakers are doing a great overall job and well that's enough for Survey Surf for now. Let's move on to a slightly high end game which is the Riptide GP2. The game has a lot of physics involved in it for a mid-end game. Still, the La One S Echo is able to run the game without any issues. I didn't notice a single frame drop or lag even while performing stunts and turning on the boost. Till now, the La One S is doing a great job and heating is also minimal. But let's see how it's gonna hold up in the next game which is the Nova 3. Nova 3 has always given a hard time to the budget phones but the Lava One S Echo is doing a decent job. Here also no frame drops and no frame skips. The game loading time in between stages were also less when compared to other phones in the same price bracket. Now overall the Nova 3 is running quite smoothly and uh, I would definitely play it for a while now before I move on to my next game in the list that is the Asphalt 8. Asphalt 8 on the higher settings is up next and frankly speaking with a 1.8 GHz Helio X10 I wasn't hoping a smooth gameplay but to my surprise the game was playable even in the highest settings. There were occasional frame drops while crashing and the nitro boost but nothing which is not playable. Still if you want a completely smooth gameplay you can achieve it on the medium settings. The game runs like butter on that full HD display while you are on your medium settings and the speakers add to the experience. Last but not the least, Modern Combat up at number 5 also ran smoothly and there were no lags whatsoever. Even with the helicopter chase and lot of water and the boat uh, stunts, I didn't notice a single frame drop. The device has started to get a bit warm now, so let's have a look at the final temperature reading. 
The maximum temperature of the device reached around 40 to 41 degrees Celsius at both back and front, which is decent enough when compared to other fries, uh, other phones at this price range, and it performs really great. So all in all, I can definitely recommend this device as a budget gaming machine along with all the multimedia things that you get with it. The synthetic benchmark scores on NT2 and Geekbench were also pretty good for a Helio X10 uh, that you get for this price and also it was on par with what I got on my Lav 1S even though this runs on a 1.8 GHz processor when compared to the 2.2 of the Lav 1S. So friends, that was the full gaming review of the Lav 1S Echo and don't forget to, to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. This was Ashish from Guiding Tech and I hope to see you in my next videos. Till then, take care and have a wonderful day.